were able to identify four newspapers in very different communities that all suffered uh, significant revenue losses in the last uh, half of the last decade and to some degree have reinvented their own business model with some revenue innova innovations that are paying off. Um, for example, at the Santa Rosa Press Democrat, uh, a newspaper in Northern California wine country, they've come up with this Media Lab concept, which is actually a digital marketing service for local merchants that has proven to be very successful and is helping them grow their digital revenue at, at a significant rate. Um, at the Columbia Daily Herald, which is a small newspaper in Middle Tennessee with a circulation of only about 13,000, um, they have really strained their resources in the last few years to roll out a series of new products, mainly in digital, including a, a paywall and a digital agency concept that have helped st uh, stem losses and kept their bottom line uh, at almost even uh, and helped them grow fairly dramatically their amount of digital revenue. Uh, at the Naples Daily News, there was a very interesting experiment. This is a paper in a wealthy Florida resort community that has actually a, a pretty strong print product and has protected print revenues. But a few years ago, the publisher there completely restructured the way he looked at sales organizations. He broke up the idea of sales territories, divided sales by businesses by categories and business units, and has greatly increased the performance of his sales staff to the point that Contrary to most of the rest of the industry, they've actually seen revenue growth in 2011 and 2012. And perhaps the most sort of wide-ranging experiment was at the Deseret News in Salt Lake City, Utah. That's a, a, a legacy paper that's been around for a long time. It's owned actually by the Mormon Church. They've really completely restructured sort of their whole media, uh, uh, their whole media strategy here, and they've created a completely separate digital. Uh, business side and they took their print newspaper which uh, underwent significant layoffs in 2010 and they basically completely rebranded it uh, to change their focus from general interest to six categories of, of issues around faith and family and so far they've seen a significant success at the digital side of the business they're growing revenues at close to 50 percent a year and on the print side, they've seen a dramatic increase in both Sunday and daily circulation. A lot of these publishers will honestly tell you that the key to be success is customization for the community. The first thing they will tell you is you need to understand your market. We fundamentally found three common threads that went through all of these news organizations that are clearly assets that can be shared in the wider industry. One is leadership. There's absolutely no doubt that these news organizations have had strong leadership with a strong vision and an ability to communicate that. It's what one analyst calls a clarity of vision. Each of these newspapers has that. The second is a willingness to change the culture. Changing the internal culture at newsrooms that have struggled between the pull of legacy and, and the forward looking of digital is one of the biggest problems that the news industry has had. And the last but certainly not least is, even in a time of shrinking revenues and shrinking newsrooms, these news organizations are all making a commitment to the editorial product and they understand that editorial quality is a key to building the business franchise. Um, clearly, uh, there was a debate for a long time about whether or not to try and charge people for online content. That debate is largely being resolved for one reason, and that is that there's just not been enough digital ad revenue to make the model work. I, I'd say in a year or two, we'll have the results, uh, uh, you know, industry-wide, and that will tell us a lot about where the business model is going to go in the future.